Hi guys, welcome back. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to do a full face of products that are either at 10 pounds or under. When it comes to brows, I just do my own thing and I use the same products all the time and they're not unfortunately under 10 pounds. <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm just gonna do them off camera as per usual. This was surprisingly easy in some steps of my makeup routine to select products that were 10 pounds or under. Primer, for example. I have three here. Pick between. Whereas palettes. Palettes was an absolute nightmare. <laughs> um, I actually ended up lifting this palette from Juvia's Place, but apparently this is £14 for this wee palette here. I honestly did think that it was going to be like £10 or less, but I ended up then going with the Sensorium palette, chapter one this palette here and the reason i actually did pick this palette is because it's actually on sale at the minute on a be perfect cosmetics for 10 pounds exactly and you can use my discount code as well i'm not too sure with sale items but any full price items feel free to use my discount code on be perfect so to start with skin i have the she glam birthday skin primer the body collection illuminating primer and the collection vitamin fix cooling primer um Someone's telling me to just go with the Body Collection Primer. This is more my jam, it's more up my street. It's just an illuminating primer and just kind of feels more like a moisturizer and that's what I look for in a primer now. So I'll just go for this. And with it being from the Body Collection, this is honestly cheap as chips. <laughs> with it coming out looking really, really like stark white, it actually does blend out really, really nicely and just gives the look of a really nice, more subtle and more natural glowy look to the skin. I am parched this day. So the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation is the cheapest I have in my collection at the minute. So <laughs> I was initially going to use the Sayate Foundation, but I ran out of it. I no longer have it. So uh, this one will do. I swear to God. Family. I honestly thought to myself last night, having this cat is, is preparing me for if I ever decide to have a child. Can you fucking not? You have already chewed half of that plant at the bottom. No. <laughs> you have your dinner down the stairs. I'm fixing your collar. She's a pretty girl. Ow, 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 ow. <sighs> Stop it. No. Oh my God. <laughs> the urge not to use my collection last and perfection concealer because it's just getting absolutely ridiculous now it's all i ever use so i've taken the studio london flawless fl no flaunt flawless flaunt concealer this is super drugs own wee makeup brand by the way concealer's not bad i've used it a couple of times one thing i will say is though that the shade range is not very inclusive so i completely understand if you don't necessarily want to use or support sorry a brand that isn't inclusive to all skin tones it's pretty diabolical to be honest <laughs> it's just a wee bit sorry looking <laughs> the shade range just looks very caucasian <laughs> but the concealer isn't half bad like i've obviously used better but it's like an it's a nice everyday type of concealer it's nice and fresh and hydrating looking underneath the skin underneath the skin underneath the eyes <laughs> Um, it brightens really nicely I find and conceals nicely without it being like too heavy, too kecky looking, too full coverage. But 
I did have this sitting just in case. <laughs> These were the only products in my collection, cream bronzer wise, that was under £10 or £10 or less, whatever. And I have to say, these are actually really, really good. I've used these numerous times here on my channel. They're fab, actually. And I've actually not heard anybody talk about these. They're from Revolution Pro, and of course, as you can see with the style of packaging, they're pretty much a dupe, packaging wise, <laughs> for the Charlotte Tilbury. Is it contour ones? I'm not too sure. But these are the cream contour and bronze ones. So I take a mixture between medium and light. Oh, wow, lovely. Stunning. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and blend this out. I haven't used this brush in a long time. Hey stranger, long time no feel. <laughs> It's the BK Beauty 101 brush, the travel size one. So good. But you see how nice that blends out? The two cream blushes are from Beauty Bay. I have Wraith and Peaches. Oh, mm, I think I might just go for Peaches. Oh, do you know what has started to happen? Cat hair. These Beauty Bay blushes are beautiful, by the way. And like, especially the formula. The formula is so, so easy to work with. Unreal. Blends beautifully into the skin. They're just effortless. I'm gonna use two powders. Of course, my I Heart Revelation Coconut Scented Baking Powder. I still absolutely love this. <laughs> I love it. It's honestly absolutely fabulous. I think you can get this for, it's a fiver. I think it is a fiver. So not long until I go to Bali. Mm. <laughs> um, two weeks. <laughs> While I'm away, I don't actually know if I'm going to be getting any videos uploaded. No offence, but I'm not going to be sitting in paradise in Bali editing a YouTube video. <laughs> this week and next week, I'm going to be filming and uploading as much as I can because while I'm away, let's say I won't be uploading. I don't think I'll be able to. Um, and then while I'm in Bali, I'm going to be filming quite a few get ready with me's and I'm also going to be vlogging as well. Something I don't do. Whenever I go on holidays, I don't like to vlog. I just like to actually go on holiday and enjoy it. <laughs> but I thought, do you know what? Why not? Why the heck not? So I'm going to be doing so much content while I'm over there. So whenever I come back, I'll have a lot of content to kind of fall back on. So do you know what, actually? Has anybody been to Bali? Any advice? <laughs> Any advice? How was it? The next powder I'm going to be taking is from Revolution Pro. This is the Goddess Glow Finishing Powder. It's got a bit of a glow through it, like a bit of a sheen. So I like to take a wee bit of it and just dust it on my forehead. And the highest parts of my cheeks. Just kind of brings a bit of glow back to your skin again. Oh, it's bright. So this is Life's a Peach. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that any time a blush, whether it's a liquid or a powder, <laughs> if it's in any way, shape or form peachy coloured, it's going to have peach in the name. Like peaches. Life's a peach. <laughs> Feeling peachy. <laughs> I'm going to get a bigger brush. Guys, I cannot believe that we are halfway through August and I feel like I have not yet done any summer makeup tutorials at all. And I think it's because we just didn't have a summer. Literally, we literally have not had a summer here in Ireland. June. <laughs> June we had a really nice couple of weeks and then it just went to shit from then. See, whenever you're living under a constant cloud of grey, I feel like the last thing you want to do is like a really bright, big and bold makeup look. Oh, did I even tell you what that blush was? It was the Sleek 
Life's a peach. <laughs> Blush. I don't really hear of anybody talking about uh, sleek makeup anymore. Is it still a thing? Can you still get sleek makeup? Who knows? Taking a wee bit of the Beauty Bay highlighter. Colourpop. Silver Strand Beach. I'm pretty sure this is under a tenner, right? Do you know what? I probably should actually check, but I haven't. <laughs> For the eyes, I... I don't know what to do. I do and I don't. <laughs> I'm wanting to do something a wee bit boring, but add some gems to it. Um... Yeah, we have the colours here to do that. So as I was saying, I'm taking the Sensorium Chapter 1 palette. Every time I bring this up, it changes my lighting. I love that for me. I'm going to put a wee bit of this Rimmel London Co-Liner just in my waterline. Are you giving yourself any kisses? <gasps> Did that scare you? <laughs> Honestly, I used to look forward to makeup deliveries, but this is now my favourite types of deliveries. World of books. <laughs> it's this website I found, and honestly, it's class. I love it. I don't know how many times I've ordered off it now, but you can basically buy either brand new books or second hand books. And here's the thing I am one fat twat. I am actually out of breath from running up and down the stairs. And I begrudge spending the money on a brand new book that I'm going to read once and it's just going to stick collecting dust. So I either buy my books at carpet sales or charity shops or I will go online and buy second hand books for like literally a couple of pounds. And it's honestly so so good. Oh it's like past the parcel. Right so I'm like your turn. <laughs> Oh yes, a hardback one. Like these are second hand books and they're like brand new. Literally like brand new. <laughs> the great and infamous whore. Cool. Ah, oh, see I love hardback books like they obviously come with like a really nice art, outer, outer, <laughs> outer cover fucking hell but you see if you take that off which I probably won't actually until I'm finished with it you're left with this beautiful look how clean it is this beautiful book cute Right, back to the makeup, considering I probably just bored quite a few of you to tears. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna put a wee bit of something in my crease to start with. Um, let me see. Just gonna take this brush here. I'm gonna go to, is it neutral? I'm just gonna pop this just within my crease. I'm gonna start at the outer corner and work my way in. Also dragging it out as well. I'm not gonna make one too crazy on the crease colour or crease shade. But I'm just wanting a wee bit of something. During Christmas I done this makeup look here. I want to do something like this. Something like that, but with brown and black. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing both eyes at the exact same time so that I get both of them even. So starting off with the black, I'm going to start by mapping out my shape. And whenever I'm mapping out my shape, I always like to keep my eyes open. This wee brush here, by the way, is from BK Beauty. It is their two weight brush. I'd say you'd be able to use this as a lip liner brush as well as an eye detailer brush. I think it's maybe a lip liner brush, but I use it more so as an eye detailer brush. And I do have a discount code with BKB, by the way, for, I think it's 10% off. Um, it's non-affiliate. I don't get paid for it. It's just the brand Kindly 
gifted me a lot of brushes and gave me a little thinker for you guys. This is also from BK Beauty 204. Also going into the black shade still. I haven't a clue what I'm doing right now, I swear. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. Sometimes it's nice to literally just have a play. But I don't know. You have to be nearly in the mood. So I'm not gonna be yet diffusing this shape too much but just enough where it's kind of thickening the line and blurring it a wee bit just going around all the edges doing that and i kind of feel like with this way i'm going to end up being able to kind of fix my mistakes because like look at the state of that <sighs> okay i just tried that out my lash line to see how it would look so i'm going to take this way then a brush and I'm going to go into a mixture of this dark brown and these two shades here like just dabbling on in okay I have no idea what this is called but this is from She Glam and it's a double sided lip pen we have a lip liner and a lipstick at one side I don't think I'm going to use the lipstick though It's a wee bit dry, a wee bit scratchy. I have not used these in forever. These are the soft matte lip creams from NYX. Yeah, I think we'll go for London. Oh shit. This is a very pale nude lip, my goodness. We're just gonna have to ignore that. <laughs> My lips are really blending in with my face. Okay, so I just ended up putting some wee gems just on the outline of the wing. Not too special, not too crazy. <laughs> But anyway guys, this has come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.